17. Winter in Derfley. The snow lay so deep on the mountains that winter that Peter's hut was buried in it out to the wind sills. Fresh snow fell almost every night. So on most morning he had to jump out of the living room window to leave the house. Uncle Elf remembered his promise to the pastor, and as soon as the first snow fell, he took Heidi and the goats down to the village for the rest of the winter. Near the church in Durfley, there was a large rambling rattleshake place, almost in runs. Uncle Elf saw the house and knew that was with some repairs and hard work, it would be a fine home. So he rented it and began to make it livable. He put some wooden parsians on laid straw on the floor to make the winter quarters for milk goats in the back of the house. Inside, he repaired the great oak door and patched up the walls and floors. Heidi loved the house, which was much bigger than the small house hut on the mountain. She invited Peter over to explore the place with her. Together, they discovered every little nook and cranny until there was no, were no surprises in this new house. There was so much to do in the winter house, and Heidi was starting school. She soon got used to living in the village and going to classes every day. Peter, on the other hand, was hardly ever in school. Heidi noticed his absences, and she knew also that he still had not learned how to read. So one evening, when she was sitting with Granny, she took... Peter aside. I've thought of something, she said. What? Peter said. You must learn to read. I have learned, Peter answered. I mean properly. So uh, you can read anything, she insisted. Cannot, can't be done, Peter said. I don't believe that anymore, she told him squawkily. And neither does anyone else. Clara's grandmother told me it wasn't so, and she was right. Peter looked surprised at Heidi's tone. She seemed so sure of himself. And then she offered to help him learn to read so that he could surprise Granny, who was feeling ill. At first, Peter was stubborn and refused, but when he saw how much it meant to Heidi and how good it would be for Granny, he agreed. At once, Heidi was all smile. She pulled him over to the table where a book was all ready. It was Rhythm ABCs, which had come to a big parcel for Clara. Heidi liked it so much that she thought it would be just a thing to teach Peter with. He sat, they sat down, side by side, bent their heads and over the book, and the lesson began. Heidi made Peter go over everything again and again to make sure he knew it would all before they went ahead. She knew how difficult it was for him and gave him encouragement every step of the way. During the, that winter, Peter came regularly for his lesson and made a good pro progress. The snow became so heavy that Heidi could not go to Granny's anymore. She knew the old woman would miss her reading out loud. During this time, Heidi worked extra hard with Peter, who came to the house despite the heavy snow. One evening, he came up from the village and announced his mother. I can do it. Do what, Peter? She asked. Instead of answering his mother's question, Peter reached out and took Granny's hymn books off the shelf. In a clear voice, 
repeated read Granny's her favorite hymn. The two women were speechless. They thought they would never live to see the day that Peter would really learn to read. The next day, Peter went to school, and when the teacher called on him, he read just as well as he had the night before. The teacher was pleased and surprised. He soon learned that Hayu had worked a near miracle with her pupil. As soon as school was over, the teacher went across to the pastor to tell him the news, and they talked about the good influence that Heidi and her grandfather were having in the village.